My name's Steve Gilbert and I now work as an independent consultant. I go by the title of Serious Mental Illness Living Experience Consultant. Uh, there's a reason for that title. Um, I have a, a diagnosis of bipolar disorder, which is characterized by um, very, very deep lows and depressions and, and very high, what we call manic episodes. Um, I didn't know a lot about bipolar disorder, but I knew that it had a big impact on people's lives. I knew that actually this wasn't something that was going to go away. I knew that it would require medication, that it would require lots of different lifestyle changes. Um, I didn't really fight the diagnosis, um, but it was a real change to, to my life. Yet over the past, in particular, past kind of three and a half years, I've really been able to rebuild relationships um, and actually find out who is a good friend and also finding other people that are like me that just get it, that I haven't got to pretend. One of the things that people used to say to me when I was, you know, I was depressed was, uh, what have you got to be depressed about? You're a good looking guy. And, uh, you know, you've got the whole life ahead of you and, you, you know, you've got a good job. And it, it, I don't think people were being malicious, but I don't think they knew what to say. And, you know, I mean, that was nearly, nearly, you know, nearly 10 years ago. But still today, there is a lack of understanding, I think, about actually what people are going through. Um, and people, it almost feels like people are scared to do something in case they do something wrong. My, my work with mental health charities has, has really been in this capacity with using my lived experience um, and helping them to understand how they best meet the needs of, of, of people and especially around men and especially around um, different communities, for example, the African Caribbean community. If we think about mental health and we think about mental health services, I think there's a, a perception that mental health is the preserve of statutory services and they have a very important part to play but actually a lot of people get the care and support that they need from voluntary services and from not from those statutory services and this is really important to map what is actually going on on the national picture um, first and foremost but then on a regional level to understand well, if we were to pick the West Midlands what does the voluntary sector look like what do they provide um, what value do they provide to individuals um, and what role are they playing, not just in crisis, but also in prevention?